What's up guys, it's Mo, and today we're gonna to be talking about my happy Book of Shadows, happy grimoire, my sort of faith planner type of thing. And I'm gonna specifically be talking about how I use the Stargazer planner as sort of my pagan faith planner. Um, I have a couple videos working in my grimoire. Um, mainly it is the um, like Sabbath pages that I've been making. So I did one for In Bulk and I did one for Beltane. I skipped Ostara, but I have a video on In Bulk. I have a video on um, like the moon phases one as well. And then I have a video, it's either out or it's going to come out. I don't know when the order of these things are going to be on Beltane. And so I have that, but today I want to share with you sort of how I'm using the Stargazer Planner as a faith planner for my spiritual type of journey. So I have, um, I bought this back in March, I think like the beginning of March before all of the, the quarantine and stuff. Um, when they were on clearance. And so I grabbed it. I didn't know how, what I was gonna do with it, but I love Stargazer. I have so many Stargazer stickers. And pretty much the sticker books that I've kind of dedicated to be in this planner are the Stargazer line, Free Spirit and Dream Seeker. And because this planner kind of has this like swooshes and stuff, you can't really use other sticker books because if you put, try to put, I feel like if you try to put like squad goals or something in here, it would not really work. So. I filmed a much longer video, but I feel like it was all over the place and this video may be all over the place when it comes to it. But, um, so I just want to go over, I guess, how I'm using the planner and then like what I did in April and what I plan to do for May. So on this sort of currently page, there's a section for gratitude, this said birthdays and then important dates and like a power word. So at the end of the month, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to journal, um, gratitude, what I'm grateful for, uh, that happened or that is in April. And then here I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this part yet. In May I use this to create a little like altar within my um, little planner. And then under important dates I have like the full and the new moon and then for May I have that Beltane is on the first. So if there's any like Sabbaths, anything that is important. Um, and they have these dates already printed in here. And then I chose Power Word which was Breathe for April. I glued the monthly pages. I used a tape runner to glue the monthly pages together. So this is kind of like an undated kind of thing. Um, and then on, and I think this, I call it the trendsetter layout, but I'm pretty sure Happy Planner calls it the monthly layout. So you get this like overview for the month and then it goes into these like task list looking kind of things. Um, so I'm trying to use this section obviously to track some stuff. I have gratitude, um, breathing or meditating and doing a card pull. I've been good at the gratitude. Um, not too much about breathing. I haven't done a single, I did one tarot reading a couple of days ago. Um, but, and then I use this little, this is just a gridded section. It's just blank. I'll show you June. It's just a blank little section here. So I put the full moon, um, the sign and the date, and then what the, I guess, correspondence or what to focus on, what it means kind of thing under that. And then new moon um, and the sign and the date and then what to focus on. In this check it off section, I kind of brainstorm what I wanna do kind of spiritually, I guess, this month. And um, I also kind of, I write down, you can see like, research Hera and Juno and create a page, create a planets page. Um, I wanted to create my Beltane page. So it's like things I want to do in here um, kind of thing. Uh, research essential oils for the Taurus moon. And I add to this as we go through, like I added these last few things um, over the last couple of days and then plan Beltane cooking. So this is kind of like, I don't know what I plan to do right, during the month. And then this jot it down section, I kind of, if I have an idea, I kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, if I have an idea, I kind of jot it down here. So like um, when the full moon came around, I was like, oh, I really am loving using these essential oils that I chose for uh, the full moon to help me relax. Like they're, they're really doing what their correspondences are. Um, and just attempting to keep a routine has helped me save off cabin fever. Um, things just 
things I'm thinking of. And then I did at the beginning of the month kind of set some intentions and I wanted to be creative and focus on my spiritual path and get back into bath rituals. So, and then at the end of the month, I'm sort of going to reflect on all the things that I did, the things I created, whatever, and write that down here. So at first I was kind of like, what's the difference between gratitude and reflection? But I'm going to save this space for things that I am thankful for and whatnot. And then this is going to be kind of what I learned maybe this month. Um, I also want to, I was watching Harmony Nice and she was doing like a daily routine video or something. And she had a, where she writes down her affirmations at the beginning of the week. And so I think that I want to make a page to like insert here. And I think, um, I have some Stargazer, the half sheet inserts. I forget what they say. I think they say intentions or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll use those. I just realized I had those. So then at the first, uh, the beginning of the week, I want to write down my affirmations because I really, if I, if I say affirmations a lot and I really get into it and really believe it, then I start to see it obviously, um, you know, showing up in my life. So I want to make that a habit, make that an intention, make that something that, you know, I can do daily for my spiritual practice. So that's this page. Then I went through and um, just dated, put the days of the week and dated all of these lists here. And instead of using it as a checklist, um, and I wrote down the moon phases as well, instead of using it as a checklist, it's just an area to practice gratitude. So every, um, every day or once, twice, three times a week, I'll sit down and I'll write down what I'm grateful for. But I will also write down what I'm frustrated with, what I'm trying to work through, what I'm noticing in myself, because I don't know, I don't think that's, you know, specifically the, the definition of a like gratitude practice type of deal. But I think that it's important to acknowledge those things that you're seeing within yourself, whether you're growing, whether you feel like you're regressing, whether you're struggling, you know, because when you go back, you may see, oh, I had a hard time with this. Maybe I came up with an affirmation and maybe I saw this develop. Um, so I've also been kind of wanting to um, do maybe a, like a take on the soap thing where it's like scripture, observation, application and prayer or something so you can but I want to turn it into like a pagan kind of thing I don't I don't know how I'm going to do that yet dog's barking I don't know how I'm going to do that yet but that's kind of what I'm trying to get in here is like okay you know I'm practicing gratitude but I'm frustrated with this how am I working through it what am I using what tools am I using how am I seeing myself grow etc so I just want to share that um because especially especially right now we're having a lot of different um, emotions and they're all valid and they, they're they all, radical positivity is not helpful. So um, yeah, just daily list. I'm just writing my gratitude down. I'm filming this actually on Thursday, so I need to go through and do some gratitude stuff. Um, this is a stargazer, whatever this is, bookmark. And then at the end of the month, there's this little like don't forget section depending on how many days there are in the month. And I was just using this as a way to brainstorm my Beltane altar. So that's what I was using that side for. And then between, let's go to a blank one, like between the after all the dates and stuff, there are these two blank pages and then you move into the currently page. So I'm using this for full moon and new moon journaling and stuff. Um, I was working on my new moon one before we, uh, before I started filming this. And so I just kind of I don't know, decorate it, journal, write things down. Um, just about the full moon and the new moon and what I'm feeling, what it means, what I want to do, etc. And then I'm also going to work on pages. Like I want to kind of put pages, like maybe I would put the page about Hera or Juno or my planets page here, but because I did it this month, but I also want to put it in my categories for my actual like book of shadows thing. So then we move into May. And so what I did here was, this is what I did in that other video, but I was like jumping back and forth and doing all this crazy stuff. So I just didn't, I just was like, I'm just going to refilm this. Um, so what was I saying? Okay. So this is like a little altar I made and I used, I used to be subscribed to 
the Lace and Whimsy Whimsy box. Um, it's like a sticker stationery subscription. I loved it, but then we moved. <laughs> I didn't have a job, and now the pandemic thing, so I can't resubscribe. Um, but honestly, this is an old box. I don't know what it was, but I found it again. And this really is like my inspiration for Beltane. Like Beltane is kind of like the meeting of God and goddess, like the goddess is in her maiden form. And then the young God has, he's like a young buck. Like it's about fertility and, you know, we're in, in spring full force, things are growing and blooming. The earth is fertile, etc. That's kind of what Beltane is, but I kind of more am focused on goddess energy. So, um, I paired it with, or I put Aphrodite there. And then these kind of reminded me of like that earth masculine kind of energy from the um, free spirit no from the dream seeker book which is what I used a lot on my Beltane page um, and then I just added some other shells um, for kind of like a water feminine element um, to this and then some crystals because they were in there and they were pretty and so that's kind of like what I have for my Beltane representation in this planner and then haven't chosen a power word yet but I did write down the full moon and new moon dates um, I don't I think yeah. Oh, I did write the um, signs, but I did not write the signs here. So again, glued the pages together for the monthly. And all I did was fill out the full moon and the new moon dates. Uh, I will go in again as we get closer to May. I'll go in and just write down the intentions that I have for the month. What are things I want to accomplish spiritually, I guess, through the month. Um, things I realize or see. And then again, I just went through and dated all of this. And I'm going to use this as a gratitude list again. And again, there's the don't forget section at the end. Um, so I'm just using this and full moon, new moon, you know, as I'm using this sort of as like a faith journal, faith planner type of deal. Um, and I haven't seen the reason why I wanted to do this uh, video. Uh, you all may know that I like to do, I like to do the videos that I want to watch. And so I haven't seen anybody doing I don't want to say an alternative faith faith planner, but alternative to what the happy planner has issued as faith planners. Um, you know, so yeah, <laughs> but then that's what I plan to do. We go into June and then since I'm going to put these months together, like I was thinking, Oh, maybe I could use this for like the cards that I pull, but I'm not going to, <laughs> so I'm just going to put them together and then it'll sort of be undated. And then once we get through the end of this year, I'll have what January through March until I can find maybe another planner. Hopefully, I don't know. I should have bought up like a thousand of these, right? Because I really like the way this is laid out, but maybe I'll just see if I can find another monthly type of planner. Um, maybe in the happy planner or happy girl, what planner girl, what are they called? Happy planner, happy planner girl happy girl planner girl line in October maybe there's something there that I'll like um I do think that I would like to have maybe a three section how some of them have like top priorities and they have like a three box um section right here I think that would be good uh as something to focus on um in like in the month like to have that kind of outlined um but I mean, I could totally just put colorful boxes or something right there. Um, I was trying to see, I don't think I have a colorful boxes book because I need to go in and me, 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 put a box like I did here for the crystals and stuff to use for um, the new moon and Taurus. But yeah, then I just put in stickers that I think that kind of go along with the spreads and you know, I really like it. so. So yeah, so that's how I'm using the Stargazer Planner in my sort of happy grimoire type of deal um, for, I guess, 2020. I don't know. I have a planner lineup. I used to use a little um, micro notes for my moon journal, um, and I really did like that. I think that's a really cute little idea, but then I got like, oh man, I really want to do more. So that's why I was like, I'm busting out this um, Stargazer Planner. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. If it did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would love for you to stick around and check out more of my, I'll leave a link to the playlist, the Grimoire With Me playlist, um, and blog posts that you may, I don't know, want to read and whatnot. So yeah, I will talk to you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.